afternoon folks it is the 2nd of july 2023 uh kalomina to everybody in greece yesterday and still today this weekend um i apologize for not i was offline all day yesterday 24 hours with not being on the internet was absolute bliss because i didn't have to use my arm uh this texting is incredibly painful and so i've just had i was doing work at home Anyway, um, I'm going to read to you from my lovely uh, UCB of today. So two, today Sundays, when you're under attack, this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Adversity is often the enemy's attempt to rob you of the next season of God's blessing in your life. If you are under attack today, you need to do these three things. Rise up and fight back. You'll be tempted to withdraw, become timid and passive, especially if you've been hurt, don't do it. A wounded animal just invites attack. Satan loves shy, fearful types, but real fighters intimidate him. So be bold and claim the promise. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. That's James 4, 7 KJV. Use all your weapons, the Bible says. But the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. They have divine power to demolish strongholds. 2 Corinthians 10.4 NIV. Prayer is a weapon. Use it daily. And join in prayer with others. One person alone can't multiply faith. Increase begins when two people get together. See Matthew 18.19. Make sure you know the intercessors in your life. Because they have influence with God. Scripture is also a weapon, so use it. Take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Find out what God's Word says about your situation, and then use it like a sword to cut the enemy's head off. Try to see the big picture. Few things are ever as they first appear. So look beyond the moment and see if something good is being birthed in you. After adversity comes blessing and favour. So get your eyes back on the big picture. Paul, who suffered relentless attacks, said, Our light and monetary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Corinthians, bottom line, today you can win. And um, as I said, you can go online for that. It's United Christian Broadcasters. They have a, um, there's a UCB player you can download. You can give this to friends. Uh... And even if you're not a Christian, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter which religion you are. As I keep saying to everyone, I have seven different religions in my family. Um, happy to, to all of those. Um, Eid Mubarak. That's from my um, my the Muslim side of my family from Pakistan. Um, Kalomina for the Greeks. What else is going on today? Is it Independence Day? No, it's Fourth of July, isn't it? I saw something about Trump earlier, but um, I try, I'm try. i trying just to deal with stuff in the UK, but I work across seven different time zones. As an independent journalist, I look and I analyse what is going on. I listen to things and I say, hmm, and because we have teams all over the world, oh, look, I'm under the love. I look like i got wabbit ears. <laughs> But because I have teams all over the world, um, I get the news directly from them. What's really going on? Not what the mainstream media broadcasts. You have to understand that. And in fact, uh, the only thing I will watch today is on Channel 5 and it is um, Saving Lives at Sea. And it's the MCA and they cover, um, uh, I think it's the, the Coast Guard, the RNLI, which I think they do a fantastic job and the Coast Guard, um, seeing as I've been a sailor for 25 years and I've worked with many of those people all around the world, um, they do an amazing job. And some of the stuff they see, you really, really wouldn't want to see. I'd, I'd be very interested to watch this uh, program on Channel 5. And dear BBC, I don't watch you. Ever. Ever, ever, ever ever again.